Hey, my name is Callie Olvin, and I'm a senior at the University of Georgia. I grew up in a Christian household, going to church often, though I had a basic knowledge of who God is and that He loves us. I didn't understand what it meant to truly follow Jesus Christ. In high school, my family fell apart. My parents got divorced, and my twin brother followed a dangerous path of drugs and alcohol in an attempt to cope. I coped by suppressing my feelings, which built up a lot of resentment and guilt. All of this led to a long season of depression and suicidal thoughts. After my first semester in college, I got into a car accident that should have taken my life. Paramedics literally said if my car were smaller, I would not be here. It was through that painful recovery that I realized I was not here by a mistake and no amount of self-hate could stop God from loving and pursuing me. A few months after my accident, I kept on having this desire and honestly pushed from God to go to Jamaica. So when I heard about the opportunity to go to Jamaica through a campus ministry, I had to go. Prior to Jamaica, I believe I knew who God was, but that trip showed me how personal God is. I said I believed in Christ in high school, but didn't really follow Him as my personal Savior. I had always thought if I was at all the church events or serving or around the right people that God would love me more. But leaders on that trip helped me realize that God doesn't love you more or less based on what you do. He loves you for who you are and just wants a relationship with you. I was so excited about who God was and what He was doing in my life when I got back. I felt like I had hope for my future. I realized how faithful God had been throughout my entire life, and He proved that He never stopped fighting for me. John 10.10 says, The thief comes only to steal and kill and destroy. I have come so that they may have life and may have it abundantly. In the last two years, God has helped me find an abundant life because now I live in freedom, valuing myself and with a new definition of love. God has shown me true love, trust, and community. I started serving as an inside-out leader for senior girls where I'm able to see God's faithfulness even more in their stories. And I'm able to share with others about His faithfulness. I have learned to love, honor, and respect myself as a daughter of God. I can't even remember the way I used to live without hope or faith. I would like to thank my friend Cameron Calero for walking through this radical change with me and showing me the true love of Jesus. I also want to thank my mom for always fighting for me. She is my inspiration to persevere. I'm here today to publicly profess that Jesus Christ is my Lord and Savior. So this in Cali, you are such an example to me. You are such an example to so many of us. When I think about the example that I want our high school girls following, you are that exam example that I want them to see because you press in, you live a brave and courageous life because God has been fighting for you all along. And the cool thing is now is you walk in freedom and you walk in abundant life. And it's something that's so special to see and so special to be a part of. It's a joy to know you. It's a joy to see you grow in your faith. And Callie, it's now my joy. It's my honor to baptize you, my friend, in the name of the Father who loves you, the Son who gave his life for you, and the Spirit who now lives in you.